Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. I am Nicholas Sterniolo. Hello and good evening. I am Matthew Sterniolo. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, It's Chris. I just realized I don't even have my headphones on. Neither do I, but so I got to put them on. Since you didn't have yours on, I was like, okay, I'm not going to put mine on. I've had mine on. I'm prepared. And I'm but anyways, welcome back to this episode of the Cut the Camera podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about childhood story times, but the first little subcategory in that is we're going to be talking about injuries that we've experienced through our childhood and Ooh, i think that it's only right to have matt start this off because he's hurt himself many more times than me and chris as we'll get into right now yes okay so um hold on i'm gonna get our little um our little stay on shit on on track list sorry i'm mixing up my words already all right the first injury that i got was a golf club to the head and i don't think i've ever told this story before on the internet i might have like really yeah i feel like I, this is the most major story to tell I agree. so this is gonna be like a big chunk like we're gonna talk about it for a minute i think this one i think i might have dabbled before but this is the first time we're like getting into it and dabbled is such a weird word to use it's also injuries are so weird dude i agree but so, so well i don't know i agree with you because like my biggest fear like I want to preface this by saying, like my biggest fear in the world is being like severely injured, like yeah. physically. Like I am so, so, so afraid of like bleeding and mm-hmm. ugh, just being exposed. Like trigger that. warning just, for all that. This yeah, episode. trigger warning for everything. Like, it won't even be episode. that bad though. It's just yeah, you know, simple. So when we were in fourth grade, I had a teacher, and on every single half day Wednesday, it was do your own homework. Like, you got to, like, just pick an assignment, and you just got to do whatever, and then, like, you'd go into class. It was class. kind of just, like, show and tell, because, like, people would Basically. just pick, like, what their favorite thing was, and they were like, oh, this is what I'm going to make my homework, and mm-hmm. then just show everyone. But Honestly, it was just super dangerous. No, yeah, it, it was, no, just it was a terrible idea. It was show that, like, you were, like, passionate about stuff outside of school, I think. It was, like, I remember I when know. one of our friends did jumping over a tire and, like, almost hurt himself, remember? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I just remember, like, what, like, um... So off topic, but, like, the f- the fourth grade teacher, like, that year of having that class, like, we did, like, the do your own homework, like, so often that, like, by the, I went into that school year, like, knowing my times tables, and I left, like, forgetting them all. Like, I genuinely, like, feel like I, that was, like, the least I learned in any school year, like, my entire life was fourth grade. I love fourth grade. Yeah, you had anyway, a different teacher. So, it was do your own homework, and I was sitting at home building Legos in front of the couch, and that was my homework. So I was record. Was I recording myself? I don't think I was now, recording. You were recording stuff. I was making like pictures. It. I, no, like, I yeah, think, yeah, I had to make like this this structure, and then take a picture of it, and then like I would like go into school, and I was gonna talk about the structure that I made for my homework. What is Legos? Yeah. So I was building the Legos, and our older brother Justin, who is a golf connoisseur, I'll say was practicing his putting in the living room with the, uh with a golf club obviously cuz that's what you'd use and he he put the golf ball into a cup and the cup was right near where I was so he gets it into the cup and then he flips the cup in the air and then he goes to hit the cup hit the cup with the golf club and I don't know if he hit the cup. I don't know what happened. I think he hit the cup, but he also hit the side of your head at a yeah. rapid rate. <laughs> yeah. So it was so, like both things happened at the exact same time. Yeah. So I got a golf club to the side of my head right here for all those visually watching. So I got hit right Visually here. watching as opposed to visually listening or I what? guess so. I don't know. But I got hit in the side of the head right here with a golf club. Went to the hospital. And that was like we need we need to talk about that for a split second. I wonder what the odds are of people getting hit by golf clubs. Like how many people do dude, how many golf genuinely club injury terrifying? Relate? Like I just remember Matt's like shriek of fear was crazy. Well, yeah, I was bleeding profusely out of yeah. your head. <laughs> out of the like, side it was of my head. genuinely like terror. Like I had never experienced before. It was so scary. I remember I was like just a room over and Matt was like screaming like bloody murder. Like it was terrifying. And I was right next to him. I was in the fucking. Oh. God, don't even tell me that. Like I feet was, hurt. bro. I really like. I don't want to get <laughs> talking in, about this on my. I don't want to get like into details because it is nasty. But like, I could. No, no, nah, we don't. Have I, no, like, I, don't I can't to. talk about it because my feet are like in. Yeah, no, like, we don't yeah, have like to, my bro. feet are out. So it's like since I don't have shoes on, I feel way less secure. So I'm like my feet hurt. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I got hit in the head with the golf club, and my mom was at a school meeting because she works like at the schools with our in, at the schools in our city. So she was like wherever i was out and about yeah she was out at some meeting 
Um, me, Nick, and Chris didn't have phones yet, and it's so weird, bro. Not having a phone. I know. And my, we only had the two cars because I don't think Justin had his license at the time either. Either way, we got to the hospital. So yeah, my dad dr- he drove he drove me to the hospital in in the car with two towels wrapped around my head, and I was in his lap while he was driving. He drove me to the hospital. Um, I don't think there was like parking right there. So he kind of dr- dropped me off with, I think, Justin and one of you no, guys. No, he definitely went in with you. Like, for sure. Like, abandoned okay. the car no, or something. I remember, like, running into the hospital, no, like, by we myself. In. No, I think, no, no, he, no, like, no, no, no. No, he, no, like, no. carried me in, yeah, but no. then he, like, put me down on the ground. God, I had to, like, hold my head to, like, keep it stable because it hurt. He carried me into the hospital. He put me down on the ground, and then I, like, ran over to the lady, and then. I remember the lady was in my dad. We started getting into a screaming match because it was very quite clear that I was like You're bleeding out in of your head, very immense danger. And she was like trying to put the hospital bracelet on my hands first. Asking she was like her asking insurance, his trying to get me on a scale. And my dad was like, "You need to cut the well, fucking scale's shit." Scale was important, honestly. Scale was important to see how much blood I lost. Don't even say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm Don't even say yeah. scale's yeah. important. But yeah, so I went on. The- <laughs> <laughs> so I was on the scale. <laughs> <laughs> weighed me whatever and then i got put onto a bed brought into a room <laughs> Nick. like you need to keep going but i'm disgusted but brought into a room and then i then fixed up yeah so i remember i didn't have blue, shit the on blue like fucking... i was like i was in my undies and i didn't even have feet like shoes on socks I didn't even on have feet i meant shoes or yeah. socks on like my feet like i was barefoot i just fucking... had shorts on i'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. sure i was just in underwear when i got in the car and yeah, like, i remember in the matt like, like I... I was sitting in the emergency room like literally just in underwear at, yeah like, no i remember like, i was like i was in i was never the type to walk around like just underwear so i had like my long pajamas on my shirt i definitely didn't but, yeah, put shoes so on so then i got my they they told my dad that I'm pretty sure he told my dad that there was like a one percent chance I live. There was like what? Not one. It was like it was like it was like he's like you're not that much of a miracle. No, he he, they basically said um it's either it's it's either he since it was (laughs) since it was two centimeters away from my temple it was either it was like ninety percent like he's dead or he's gonna be eating out of a tube for the rest of his life. Oh my god, the odds. The odds of me literally doing this still are kind of no, like, like genuinely. Like odds. I remember, like mom and dad were keeping it so together when they were like talking to us. But like genuinely, that was the closest to death like, any of us have ever been. No, like for real, near death experience. No, like like so beyond for real. Yeah, so like so seriously, so scary almost to so think almost about. got. If if it was, two, they said that if it was two centimeters closer to my temple, I'd literally be dead. So. Or paralyzed. Or eating out of a tube for the rest of my life. Yeah, those yeah. are the odds. Oh, my God. But I'm good. Well, I'm happy so, you're yeah, able and then to I eat got, and alive. I got, and me too. I got, oh my God. I got 16 stitches. Oh! And this is, like, way past the line. I told Nick and Chris this, like, I think two years ago. But after the whole, like, hospital thing and all that stuff and what was going on, um, I had like a dream like four to five years no, this later. Shit genuinely like horrifying. Not well, horrifying, it's like, but it's like wow. Supernatural. Yeah. Or like Yeah. So like four to five years later, I I didn't know the full story with shit that was going on, like with who was where, what was going on. Well, yeah, because obviously, because obviously I was on the operating table with a fucking like towel over my head and shit going on. So I didn't know what was going on. And then I had this dream like four and a half years later. And it was like, you know how the home goods commercial is the best way to put it. I love talking about this home goods commercial. So it's like, it's like the house is cut in half. And it's like you, you're looking at the outside of the house or whatever. So it's like, imagine like you're looking. Best example is the Taylor Swift albums, bro. She got like a she I seen like on my for you page because she's everywhere. She has like this like house or whatever, and it's like each of like the rooms in her house is like an album. It's just like the home goods commercial. But basically, it's like if you took a house and you split it completely down the middle imagine, and then okay, took the front half of the house you off, drone, you could see in from the front. Imagine you put a drone on top of this this hospital that I was getting operated on. Put the drone about fifty feet to seventy five feet in the air, 
took the roof off of the entire hospital and you could just look in at what's going on in the hospital and the entire layout from like 75 feet above. Yeah. That's the that's like the point of view from the dream that I had. And I woke up from this dream and I told Nick and Chris like Is this like years later or during your years later? Like like four years later. Oh my god, that's terrible. So it's yeah, like, like come on. So I like, thought we were in the past. No, yeah, that because that happened in fourth grade. I think I was in like no, it was honestly way later. It was like freshman year of high school. Like five years. Yeah. Ten. Like, ten. Ten. Oh, fourth I forgot up. seven and eighth grade. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So way later. So I have this I had this dream and I was like Chris was walking down this hallway with whoever's shoes. It's kind of like foggy to me now. I remember I said shit clearly. No, but, but I it was, was just like, so funky because every single thing that Matt told me and Chris about like this dream that he had about that day, me and Chris recall happening. Like he was talking yeah. about how like and we like, didn't Matt have shoes on. And he was talking about how like we didn't have phones, so we were like watching TV and like reading magazines in the waiting room and like Matt would what my older brother shit was that doing. That he shouldn't have remembered. That I wasn't yeah, a part like, of. Literally not a part of. He remembered my mom finally getting in the hospital. My mom's friend who she was with like finally getting in the hospital. Like when yeah. they got there. Like genuine just notes of like so much about like time and i know a lot of you are like well he probably found out like the next day matt was literally like in the hospital like out for like 24 no hours. this was this was the worst part about it too and nick you're gonna cringe again no like but i genuinely since i lost so much blood and i like was in that surgery for so long they said like once i was like fine and like all stitched up and everything they were like okay he's fine like he'll be okay but in order for like him to literally like not go into like I I for, I don't want to like say the wrong thing. They things. just wanted to keep you. They awake. wanted they wanted make to make sure, sure I was okay. awake because like if I fell asleep or some shit, if there Matt was, fell asleep, he was more susceptible to like any sort like, of danger. Like comas, dying, so any yeah, anything any like that could have made the situation ten times worse would have happened if Matt fell asleep. Basically. So I I basically like after all that shit happened, it happened at night too. So like when I was getting operated on, I was supposed to already be going to sleep. So I, I stayed asleep that whole entire night, the whole, yeah, I stayed awake that whole night, that whole next day, and the whole night after that. And then I went to bed, like, and then I went home and then, like, took a nap that, that other day. But I genuinely was, like, fully, like, so out of it, because I was awake just, like, looking into, like, looking it's at the wall like this. It's crazy what you think of in like fourth not. grade, because I genuinely remember, like, being so mad that you didn't go to school. No, I know. Like I went to school and I was like, "Well, fuck him." Well, like, I remember he's finally getting. School. I remember finally getting home and like all the letters from classmates. Oh, yeah, my and classmates shit. found out what happened, like, and they were also Matt's classmates because me and him were in the same fourth grade class. And I'm pretty sure, like, we literally spent like a good hour in fourth grade. Like, everyone, so you're like, welcome. Everyone you're in fourth fucking... grade. It was like, or in my class, was like making Matt like cards about. That yeah. shit's so cute. Though. I know it is so I cute. Remember, I, when, I remember I... in fourth grade, like during any holiday, when like Target had like the one dollar section of like the erasers, like the coloring pages. Like, I used to, like, bring gifts to school, like, all the time. Like, I, I just, just love, love the, like, giving I to just people. I like, the middle school era, like, Valentine's Day when you give all your classmates, like, little, like, candies but and shit. But then I had another like, one that of those... so fire, I had another bro. one of those hospital dreams more recently that I told Chris about, like, fucking, like, a month ago. Yeah. But, like, it's just weird, because it's, like, I feel like I have them, like, every once in a while. Sounds but, like, like an album, bro. Hospital dreams. Okay. Okay. But, no, going like, back to fourth doesn't... grade, like, giving shit out, like, I remember... And it was, like, Valentine's Day, and I had, like, you give out Valentine's, like, in your class, and there was, like, four people that I was, like, way closer friends with than, like, anyone else. So I got everyone, like, basic Valentine's, whatever, and then I got, like, four kids, like, something bigger. And I remember my teacher literally sent me, like, the principal's off. Or not the principal's off, like, wouldn't let me give them Wouldn't let me give them to my picking. friends in class because I was, like, picking favorites. And I remember you also couldn't, like, give out birthday. Like, honestly, it makes sense. But you couldn't give out, like, birthday party invitations during class if you weren't going to invite the whole class. And that just puts so much, like, that's, like, so crazy. Like, imagine how much money it costs to, like, throw a fourth grader a birthday party if, like, they have a class of 28 and, like, the school crazy. forces you to either, like... Yeah, that's a lot of money, bro. If, like, in order to invite them during school, you need to invite every single one of your classmates. Do you remember, like, all of our birthday parties? Yes. Like, Ow. do you think you could go down the line and, like, list them all? Not no. all of them, but... Not, I, literally, actually, not <laughs> even close. No, like, we went to... We went to Jump On In the trampoline park, I think, like, three years in a row. I remember, row. like, Jump On In. I remember, like, Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. I remember Chuck E. Cheese. I remember, Cheese. like, the painting thing. What? Oh, oh Plaster Fun Time? Yeah, did we ever have a birthday? I don't think that was our birthday. Oh. That was lit, though. That shit was so you, lit. You, like, picked the ceramics. I, like, did we ever like... do, like, a laser tag? 
I feel like we did. No, I, oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. We definitely did a laser. No, we didn't. No, I think we went to Chloe multiple. Had a, Chloe had a laser No, tag. I think we went to like five laser crazy birthday parties. No, I think parties. Probably. there was like a time period like where everyone and like the everyone's hip thing was to have just a... loved laser tag. So yeah. everyone's birthday that yeah, year. Like, the thing was to like have a birthday party well, I remember at laser one of my friends had a laser the, tag. We did the birth- arcade. Remember? Yeah. yeah. yeah no. Yeah. Like for pre-K. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember. When I closed down. <gasps> it's remember, also not our birthday party, but I know what you're talking oh, about. That oh, was someone else. I remember one of our friends yeah, had a like, birthday party at like the I laser like tag place. That was birthday party dude, Monster Mini Golf. Like, let's Bro, be so for real. Dude. Monster Mini Golf was crazy. No, I was remember, genuinely so remember, afraid. I remember being so devastated because one of our friends had a laser tag birthday party that we wanted to go to, and the laser tag place is 40 minutes away. But it was in the middle of winter, and our minivan got stuck like with ice on the oh, tires. Oh, don't even tell me this. I remember this so day. So all four, us three, and our mom were dead ass just digging ice at the tires, trying to get at this laser tag birthday party for like three hours. And, and then we, we got there ended. after they did laser tag. And they're like, "Well, you can still have cake." I'm like, "Fuck cake!" Like, yeah. I was here. To... I was so upset. God, that's just a nightmare. Okay, what's the pool next? parties were lit too? Ooh. Huh? Pool parties, dude. Pool parties were a classic bro. pool insane. party, like in in Massachusetts summertime. Can't yeah. go wrong. Finally warm. Can't go wrong. Pizza. Capri Sun. Dude, I'm, not dude, I'm telling like you, that taste of like a Capri Sun and like a bite of pizza with like chlorine oh my on God. your fingers. No, Nate you know, yeah. Yeah. And you still got like the wet fucking hands. the huggy barrels, the no. hug barrels. Mm. Oh, those are so good. What's like a what's your those like shits a, are actually fucking nasty. What's no, you're I like nasty. them as a kid. But, like the you're hug nasty. barrels are actually disgusting. See, I have, you, ha- you got to drink them to feel childhood. Stuff. No, some things. The, the the pops, you think fucking... of like youth summer? Give give me like like a little like summary of like the best youth summer day. Okay, you could have. I remember. Can I? Oh, is abs- it cool? Matt, okay. absolutely. I'm thinking freeze pops is what we call them. I know other people call them otter, otter pops, pops, like the whole loser. thing, whatever you got to say, sure. But we call them freeze pops. I feel like it's an it, otter. It totally depends Dude, the people brand call those get. like the craziest shit. They're like tubi lubies, <laughs> frozen tubi lubes. And I'm like, no, okay, it, like you're insane. It just like, depends the brand you get. And like your first, your fir- the first brand you buy and recognize that's what you're going to call that's them. That's not true because I call them freeze pops and the ones we buy is like freezer ice or like freezer flavor ice. Or I feel like it's like flavor like, ice. I feel like the one most likely to make fun of is an otter pop, but it honestly is purely just straight I love accuracy. It. I love, I like the, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen people like, call them legit like gave, frozen tubi doobies. I'm like, okay, like that's that, crazy. That was insane. <laughs> like, I if, you gave, that. if you gave an otter one of those, I think it would like eat it. Like it'd that. break the internet. Like it would hold like that. Oh, it'd hold it like you do. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and you pinch it to the top. <laughs> exactly. Okay. But for like summer day, I think of you just ate either Dude, there's a like, sausage. Uh, sorry. There's so many like little flies. Like do we eat the queen? Do you have lice? Bro. Dude, I asked Chris yesterday. No, he didn't ask me yesterday. Both me and Nick have little like fleas, like, small like, little near little our black window, bugs. windowsill. I think it's like a California like thing. Like seasonal, right? Yeah, I think it's like since now it's getting warmer. There's we'll like have little, to ask like, the natives. There's like little fleas on our windowsills and shit. We've never experienced. No, like they're only in own. my room and Chris's room, and mine's on the top floor. Chris is on the bottom, and they're like, can by I be the honest window. about something? They're in your room. I've seen a couple in my bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I Unless we're like living in Phil. No, no, no. We take care of ourselves. We're clean, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I just think it's like no, because since I'm happy. No, when I told Chris about it and he said that they were also in his room, I was ecstatic because I was embarrassed because I was gonna literally have him check me for lice. I knew it wasn't <laughs> lice though. But like, I shower. Every I don't even day. think you could see lice. Like if you shook them out of your head, like I think they're so microscopic right? that I don't even. I, unless it's like uh, bigger, I don't know. Let's, extra. Okay, large. I'm just happy I don't have lice. Well, what's it called? The what? little like I think it's definitely like the heat in the summer. It's, I agree. Uh, every windowsill like near. We just the... gotta figure out how to get rid of them. All right, I'm gonna a little bug spray. I'm gonna no, say no. It's not like a bug spray. It's like you need like a trap. Like raid, hey y'all. No, it's not like a raid. You need like a trap because we don't know where like the source is. Okay, Go I'm ahead. gonna say my summertime. Let's hear it. Okay, uh, I'm thinking you just had either a sausage, a hot dog, or a cheeseburger oh from the grill. God. I don't like sausages. I didn't ask. I'm just no, no. I, I'm I, just that's sharing. why I gave no, no, three options okay. here. All right. Yeah, he did so give numerous you options. You have you get one of those. You just ate them. Now you just went and got your favorite color freeze pop, and now you're sitting. On the really hot tar, mm. just enjoying the heat, eating a Dude, freeze pop. Nothing's That's better what than I the got. tar isn't like too hot, but it's also like warm. And like mm-hmm. you get out of the pool and like your shorts are cold because you have like the bathing suit like yep. still touching you. So you go and like sit on the tar. Hot tar. Yep. Oh my god! All right, that's what that's one of mine. my like instant thoughts is like 
you know, the best summer days to me is when they come to an end, actually. When it gets a little bit darker at night. Mm-hmm. Like when that this... could be like a start of a book. Yeah. Like, like, you like know, I'm genuinely you... hooked. Yeah, I... <laughs> me too. I was like, wow. Like, I want to hear a story <laughs> for ahead. sure. I want more. It's like if you experience a nice, warm summer day, you know, everyone could say pool. Everyone could say, like, cookout. Everyone could say freeze pops. All the jazz you already know. But what gets me is when the sun goes down and it gets a lot colder, like the wind's blowing. Everyone has their hoodies on, but they still got shorts on because yeah, it's summer. Yeah, yeah. You know oh, what I, I mean? love yeah. this and so like you're much. burnt from like the day. Yeah, and then you can even go back with all the friends. And it's like, it's still warm, you know, it's summer, but there's like a but nice like breeze. But we're campfiring now. Yeah, it's like yes. campfire s'mores. Love or, this, dude, love or, this. Or, or, or it's even... Can I say, I think the summer, like me and like the seasons, like the four seasons, like summer, fall, winter, spring have had, like, some beef. Like, we've had trials and tribulations. Like, we've had arguments. We've had, like, ups and downs. Like, which one's my favorites? We've disagreed. I think East Coast but summer is, But I genuinely is, like, believe genuinely that, like, summer best. is my favorite season. I used to want to be, like, that quirky kid and be like, oh, I, I like, love, like, the winter because I like snow. But it's like, I fucking can't stand it, actually. Like, least favorite thing ever. Like, I enjoy the concept of, like, like, I love Christmas time. I like holiday cheer. I like building a snowman, you know? But it becomes too fucking much when you're in your house and you can't escape the cold. And, like, your feet are, like, on the ground freezing cold. You feel like you could only stay in bed. Like, seasonal depression is so real. Like, every single time, like, after the fall gets, like, into that colds of winter, I genuinely feel like never speaking to anybody and not moving for, like, legit until the weather's better. And, I, dude, the summer is honestly just, like, like summer nights. East Coast summer nights will be top legendary superior. Bro, but I also, like, not to keep talking about it, but, like, I don't know if, like, it's because of climate change and climate change is so for real. But, like, genuinely, like, I feel like I never know what to expect. Like, every single year, I feel like it takes longer to get to, like, the next season. I Does do that make sense? That. Like, I'm like, when I the like fuck? I feel like I'm, like, waiting for summer to be. It's yeah, like I'm like, hello. I feel like, like it's dude, time. It's been hot, but not hot enough to wear shorts for, like, a month. And Legit. I'm like, and I'm like, okay, like, wh- what's actually today? May? Like, I feel like by now we're, like, pushing, like, It better. should be, like, warm, But right? also, like, the, the, the it's we're also out of, like, I don't know if it's also because of climate change, but we're also out of, like, gradual changes. You know what I mean? Like, there's no, like, oh, like, two-week period between and then it's, like, summer. It's, like legit like i'll wake up and it'll be 90 for the rest the of the second fucking i was summer. like okay we're in winter i was like all right it's time pre- to prepare for the next year like the second don't i don't know what fe- that meant it's like the second he thought he was in winter we were going to another season it's uh, like, Mac, like it's, it's like when so you turn like 20 or something and everyone asks how old you are and you're like oh 19 19 and then the second you get used to saying 20 you turn 21 like that's what Matt's saying. Yeah. No, but genuinely, like we Chris, need to. I love your little summer. Shit. Your little summer. No one thing. should. I, I really felt trash that. outside. Climate change is real, dude. You can't just stop it. I also think that. I think. Pe- hold on, for real, actually, I think we should seriously bring back metal straws. Okay. I feel like no, they never hear left. Me the, hear me out. I'd rather use a plastic straw than a paper straw, and I know paper straws. That people are like. Oh, it's like helpful, helpful with the environment. It's like we're still like I don't know the statistics behind it. I'm not gonna act like I do. But I genuinely would rather drink straight from the cup or, like, not drink at all if I have a paper straw. And I'm That's so That's honestly for real. great for you, but I feel like we're really off topic. So I'd rather talk about summer and childhood Which memories. Which is fine. I understand, like, literally fuck I paper straws. I fully get what you're saying. I hate paper Understood. straws. Next. But Go I feel ahead. like you just drink think, out of whatever. whatever. I think another that. thing that plays a big role in this weather change for us is being back and forth from, like, different states. Mm. You know? Like, it, it could be, like, freezing back home right now. I don't even, like, it's so sad. Like, whenever I, we pack for Boston, I, like, text some friends. I'm like, what should I be wearing? Like, I don't even remember what weather it that's is. That's not sad. I feel like that's just, like, no, but it's genuinely the same coming back here. Like, I'll yeah. text Maddie be like, what the fuck or do, do I expect? Like, what, should I bring shorts? Well, because it should changes in, like, two minutes. It's yeah. like, I don't know. I'm never prepared. That's why I kind of have a closet in both places, because I'm like, at this point, I really need to just, like, be prepared for any sort of weather, weather, <laughs> any sort of weather, wherever I am. <laughs> okay. I have to just be prepared for that, no matter what. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on to the, like, return to the injuries. Okay. Dude. That also sounds like an album. Which one are the injuries? Return to the injuries. All right, Chris. Your, the next injury we have on the list is the one that you yeah, went through. So uh, you we went to a park, and you know that thing you slide on like this? Like, I don't know how to describe it to these people. It's like, the metal, it's, it's like, the, it's the, like zip the metal line. zip line that you grab on and you slide to one side and then just let go. Like, it, you hold it like it's like a, um, um, I think how that, would you hold like that? Like, like this. And you slide. I mean, you know, it's like holding like a, it's like as if you're gonna like 
hang up a poster with like a spear, but it's above you. <laughs> like you're like, this is the crazy. That's how shit. you hang it up. You know I what I mean? So. Like you gotta like it's like you have a really big thumbtack and you gotta put it into a poster, but okay, the poster's Nick, also you're four feet above you. <laughs> no, that's the best way to put it. It's like it's like you have a big poster and you gotta hang it up, but the top of the poster is like your hand straight up. Is how far up it is. You know what it's I mean. Like, you search metal zip line at it's park. Like you it had, will pop it's, up. it's like if you had to throw a spear over your head with both hands. Yeah, I guess like that. But it's like I was on the metal thing. And I was holding it. And my mom was holding my waist because I was like four. You're super young. She was holding onto my waist so that I didn't fall. And then oh, I don't know about four. Four's crazy. We're like nine at least. No, absolutely. I don't even think I was young, bro. Dude, I could speak and show. We were young. School. Can you talk when you're four? Yes, you oh. can talk by like you're two. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Okay, <laughs> like, Nick, stop. Can you stop talking? I think I talking? just have like a Here, problem Nick. with like I don't understand like Nick. I think children. You, I like, think you, I, like, <laughs> like we were hey. the youngest. Hey, stop. I think you Matt. let him just I'm talk speaking. about no. it. No, because genuinely, like I don't know how old we were because like we were the youngest, like last ones born into like our family, right? Like we're like the youngest of. What like, are you our... talking about? No, bro? Like, I'm saying like we're the youngest of our generation. Like all of our cousins are like our age or like older, you know. So it's like. We I've never, never experienced. We've never experienced okay, like cool. someone growing Do up. So, like next? I genuinely don't know. Like oh, when the fuck can they start talking? Okay, whatever. You know? Anyway, I was young. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I was young, and I was on the metal zipline thing. And my mom was holding my waist, and I like started flailing out of her arms because I wanted to like do it on my own. I wanted to be like a big guy. Like I wanted to be. A, and you weren't a big kid. And, and then, you weren't. So I was like shimmying and shaking to try to get out of her grip, and I succeeded, and then fell and smashed my head on the. Yeah, on, like, like the some second you actually got thing. out of mom's grip, you also let go of the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. So he just slammed into like a metal grate on the ground. Yeah, I cracked my head open. I had to go to the hospital. Got staples. Two, then... two staples in the front of the fucking and head. You got a sick headband. Oh, I actually still have a ball spot. I'm not showing anybody though. I'll show you all another time. But I, like that's why that's why I started to grow my hair. Long. That's why I grow. I, I remember there were these part. two like military guys because it's near like where this happened to Chris. It's near like the the Boston military airport. Training facility. Like it's near like military training, like the airport, like whatever. I don't think that's right. I think it was two dudes. No, in, it's like, not like a military training thing. It's like near like it was two dudes in mili- military suits giving out like taffy for an organization. They were. I think, oh, so no, it doesn't no, matter what like, the fuck we were. No, yeah. it was it. The military thing was close, but I think they were. And they they just were knew there because like you know how it's like the it. sign. They just helped out. They were good Samaritans. Next, yeah. Well, no, because I remember they felt bad for me and Matt, so they gave us a fuck ton of candy because you were her. Yeah, and I, was like, I got oh, cashing in on this. Absolutely. And then they gave me Matt like pops at the hospital yeah, I, I got chilling. a headband and staples and y'all got bro kid had candy. to like wear a headband for like two weeks it was crazy it was mad funny okay you looked cool though your thank hair you, was like bro. spiked through it like it looked thank so you. hospital like it was okay, like matt stepping on glass go ahead okay, this is so, so embarrassing this one, all right we got a lot more injuries so i'm just gonna try to start Let's just summarize these off them. so yeah me stepping on glass um we were when you we get ice cream is little when you we when you get ice cream as little kids in our family, it was like, obviously, there's one thing of ice cream. We all wanted it. It was me, Nick, Chris, Justin, my mom, and my dad all getting ice cream. So they would scoop it. Mom and dad would scoop it for us, put it in bowls. And then I was last in line this day. So Nick and Chris were before me. So I had my little glass bowl. And I was I was banging the glass bowl with a spoon, like a little, like, ice cream chant. I was like, no, oh, like, me and Chris cream, were weird little kids where we're used to just, like, if all, since all three of us were getting, like, either rewarded or punished at the same time, it's, like, you know, like, that feeling of, like, joy when you get, like, a reward? It's, like, that's across we were, like, the a little board. Tribe. So, like, all three of us, yeah, we were, like, a little tribe Tri- And we were people. dancing because we were so, getting ice cream. Yeah, we got ice cream and we'd be, like, woo like jumping and banging the ice cream, like, clanging it together. So, I was hitting a glass bowl with a metal spoon and when I hit the bowl, it broke and a piece of the glass fell off of it and went onto the floor. But honestly, to this day, we don't even know if you're the one that broke the glass. Oh, we're for sure. We're 100% Are positive. Are we? He broke yeah. it with a spoon. Well, I'm just saying like any no, of us no, no, broke I broke it, he the stepped glass on that it. I had with a spoon. Think about I it. I feel like you need to just let people finish their stories, honestly. Oh, wow. No hate, though. <laughs> Just genuinely right. no shut hate. up sometimes. I'll just literally so actually I fuck myself. That's great. So I got the glass and I got the spoon. Broke the glass with the spoon. This is like my third time saying it because Nick interrupted me. Stepped on the glass with my... And he needed stitches in his toe. And I needed five stitches in my big toe. Or maybe like but blue. Here's the f- no, it was five stitches. Okay. But here's the funny part of the story. So I when I stepped on it, I didn't even know that I stepped on it until I was walking around on the white carpet and there was just bloody footprints walking following where i was walking and i was like oh somebody checked their foot it's bleeding so i checked my foot it was my foot it was bleeding went to the hospital 
and then they were stopping the blood since it wasn't that bad of a cut with a cotton ball. And they accidentally pushed the cotton ball into my big toe and they couldn't get it out. Let's not be crazy. It like like they were holding it there and it like kind of just like part of the cotton ball went in my foot. I don't know what you're saying. And then he's wrapped him up. So the fun fact, Matt has a cotton ball in his foot if it didn't well, no, disintegrate it's dissolved in his bloodstream. In his bloodstream okay, sure. yes. next. Cool. Kicked in the face so by, nasty, at baseball bro. by a kid named Pac-Man. Okay, so this is also my story. Let's, like, actually get to the point, you know? No, yeah, Dude, I know. I like, come on. The world's our oyster. Fucking relax. Shut so, up, So, Chris, me and Chris, when we played baseball together, he was the pitcher, I was the catcher. We were the dynamic duo. Nobody could stop us. We won a championship that year. So, Chris is pitching. I mean, I wouldn't say all that, but we were. We were the best. We had the chemistry. Come on. I mean, it was pretty good, though. So, Chris is pitching to me. I'm catching. And some kid hits an absolute dinger to center field. And this kid, Pac-Man, on the other team is on third base. And the center fieldman gets the ball. The kid on third base tags up, but he caught it in center Dude, field. Like, I literally like, was home. there, and I'm forgetting how this goes. Like, you're using too much of, like, baseball terminology. No, when you're the catcher, if there's a deep hit or, like, a foul ball, you're supposed to take your mask off so you can see, so you can catch the ball. So Matt was the catcher. He took his mask off. He's about to tag this kid coming in from third base straight at him, and the kid decided to just bury fucking Absolutely Matt. buried. And Somehow got... his foot hit Matt's face. And then the kid got... No, this is a different story. Yeah, but then Matt... No, Matt got sent to the back of the fucking... I like... literally got body checked by this kid named Pac-Man all the way to the, the back of the fucking home plate. Like, yeah. he body checked And then me. another kid, the same game, I'm pretty S- sure. Same game. Went to slide home Bro, and kick Matt in the face Nothing that kid cleat. used to go up to bat, and his like, nickname was Pac-Man. So his whole team would just like chant like walk 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 and like do the thing. But bro, he Matt he absolutely buried me. Same game. (laughs) Matt was a fucking power pellet. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Same (laughs) game. Later in the game, Uh, I did the same (laughs) thing, almost same play, except the kids running from second to home. I took the mask off. I have my glove with the ball in it, right in front of home plate. If this kid slides home, I'm tagging him out, and we're changing it. Kick you in the face. His his cleat went up my glove. And he kicked me in the face with the cleat. And I literally, that's just like. Just another day of baseball. Just another day of baseball. That's from one of the meme pages that I have, sadly. But I, I got mean, kicked it, in the face with the cleat. It was just another day of baseball. Except I got kicked in the face. So, yeah. all right. Um, do you guys want to know what the most common injury to children is? I'm like oh actually beyond curious. I know that Nick's going to just die laughing. I, I want to give you each a guess. What is the most common injury to children that puts them in the hospital? Oh, so it's hospitalization. Um, to the or level just like emergency room related. I feel thing. like it's got to be like choking. Okay. No. Yes. No, like little no, kids that are like trying no, to like talk to their no, mom or dad, and they're no, like eating like a no. fucking bagel, and then they just no, start. No, like... I honestly feel like when kids like let's be for real, it, I don't think there's really kids that are like, like do kids really talk like that when they eat? I feel like kids never shut the fuck up. Like, no, kids are that's like, what I think. They're, they're so like, excited usually to, like, talk, they and they're eat, like, oh. Usually, like, 95% of kids that I know, like, little kids, like, when they have to eat, like, their parents are like, okay, like, you have to eat. Like, make sure you're eating. And they, like, they're having so much fun or something that they don't want to fucking eat. So, like, they'll sit down, like, the corner for, like, five minutes, like, all pissed at their mom and just be like, <laughs> yeah, eat at, like, such a rapid rate and then just be done. So, I feel like they're not choking because they're focusing on eating okay, something so and, like, go to something guess, else. Then. God. Well, I'm just talking about ahead, it. This Nick. is a fucking podcast. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, Go not ahead. speak about it. Go. I think it's probably like their sibling like hurt them. I like I think, think this so is. I think it's like, and then we have sim- sibling. Like a that's like, insane. Well, no, it's like a sibling like either like it's pushed definitely them. not choking. Uh, can you just read it? Because this kid's getting on my last nerve. You have no other guesses either. Of you. I mean, either that or just like genuinely like falling onto like the ground. Well, there we go. Nick wins. Is it? Falls. The most common Ill- injury to children is falls. The most common injury and in cause for kids of all ages, falls are the leading cause of injury among children. In fact, the Center of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, says that roughly 8,000 children are treated in the U.S. emergency rooms for a fall-related injury every single day. Dude. I just thought it was so funny because I know that you were just going to laugh that these kids are falling. No, because I genuinely think room. like kids like... Like they need it's to pay so more attention. It's so crazy, like how many kids I've seen fall. Yeah, you know, like I remember we were outside of a fucking like Red Lobster, or whatever it was. <laughs> girl, and the little what? girl. I've dude. never eaten at a Red, Red Lobster. Not Red Lobster. Yeah, right. It was something else, but I don't want to like disclose that name of this restaurant. But 
a uh, lobster pot. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. We were at the fucking lobster pot and this little girl was like with her family and there was like, it's like 95% of the time it's kids fault. It's like their parents fault. Cause it's like, you need to just like, I'm not a parent and I'm not telling people how to parent, but it's like, watch your kid, bro. Like not even like watch your kid, but it's just like, if they're like coming up on a curb, sometimes I understand like, I'm not a parent. So like, don't oh fucking, my... well, I don't want people to be like, Nick's mad at parents and telling them that like they can't parent well and this and that genuinely like i feel like most of the time kids are falling it's because like i understand like wanting your kid to like learn new things so like people will just be like like they'll <laughs> they'll like force their kid to like oh you can walk down the stairs on your own like in order to learn how to do it you know but sometimes i'm just more of like if you help the kid like life will be easier it's like this girl that fell like this three-year-old at lobster pot her mom was like holding her hand and she was walking and she's like coming up on a curb and instead of her mom like picking her up and helping her down the curb she doesn't even see that the curb's coming and falls straight on her face onto the ground because she missed that the curb. That. it's like i feel like if like the mom just picked the girl up and put her on the ground like instead of letting her try and figure out how to jump over a curb on her own like eventually she'll learn eventually as she gets older it's like not everything has to be a learning curve that leads to injury yeah true that next Ex- whatever matt like i don't know i'm not saying anything just next what season do you go apple picking? Fall. Fall? I mean, that's quite apparent. Like, come on. I can't wait for fall to come back around, and I want to go apple picking. I love apple picking. That was, like, one of my, like... Remember when we went apple picking with a group of friends, and they did, like, a snowball fight with apples? And I got and... drilled in the spine with an apple? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I do remember that. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Who was? I remember our friends from oh. our old hockey team. Yeah. Just... Drill the fucking apples, apple like, at Matt's spine. I just love apple orchard vibes. Like you get to feed, I agree, feed Chris. some goats, go on a, a maze. Hay ride. Dude, we gotta do it. I never partook in a maze like ever. I was always what? scared that I'd like dude when he never did. He never did. Oh, yeah, he never right, did. I, I genuinely used to be afraid that I'd never get out. Yeah. And it's like, dude, some of them are scary. Yeah. Have you seen on, on TikTok there's like this one thing, it's like top hundred like scariest. Oh my signs god, dude. Ever. I saw this. Yeah, and it was like it was like a sign at like a haystack thing. Oh, no, and it was like, like oh, it was like it, it was like enter at your own risk and we send like Oh, we if sent... you get lost, there's like a un uh, finding unit every forty eight hours or yeah, some shit. That's insane. I saw that. It's like, bro, if there's ever a risk of me being stuck in a maze for forty eight hours. I'm at least bring, like, a wagon of everything I could need ever. But also, like, just go in a straight line, like, through the hedges. Then what if the finding team doesn't find you? you, you know what I mean? 48 hours. Yeah, I get what like, you're there's saying, hedges but what if everywhere end up, like, you're not in the trapped. woods? It's not, like, spiked walls. It's, like, just walk no, out. No, my biggest fear... Go through the my trees. My biggest fear it's is, like, like being in a maze. maze and you no, just go listen. Deeper. Listen, my biggest fear is being in a maze and, like, actually almost being at the end of it. But then, like, imagine, like, the creator of the maze or something is just putting up walls where the... Like, okay, like, come on. Yo, what is I this, know, Jumanji? But... Like, yeah, like, <laughs> no, that's on. so scary, though. Ugh. I saw this TikTok, no. speaking of, like, parents not watching their kids, it was, like, this track race, and these kids were running around the lap, and it was, like, the final lap, like, it was a legit high school race, and one of oh, the- I saw that. Yeah, and one of, like, some little kid ran out into, like, the track, and the kid couldn't stop his momentum, like, he was just sprinting laps, and now this kid's, like, on the final stretch, he's sprinting. And then the kid just gets, like, kneed in the face, and he gets sent flying. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tried to cut open a baseball to see what was inside of it. I accidentally stabbed my finger. I got two stitches. Like, Google it. Like, so dumb. Yeah, and, Google or, like, it. Ask... I remember with him, like, dude, why are you doing that? And, like, I was looking like, oh, over him. don't worry. I'll and be he... fine. I was like, don't cut yourself. And he was like. He stabbed his house in the hand. And open. I remember they literally brought him to the emergency room. And I'm pretty sure this was, like, the last time you hurt yourself, like, emergency level since the golf club to the head. So I remember going and thinking like, oh, we'll go to the emergency room and they'll help him like immediately because the last time we went, it was such a severe no. thing that I forgot. They made that, him like, sit with his hand. And, like, I like fucking... literally did not know because the first time anything like, emergency level happened to us was Matt getting hit in the head with a golf club. So I always thought that the emergency room was like 100 percent accessible, like all the time, like immediate help. But it's based off of like severity of injury where like Matt got immediate help because his head was gushing blood and like skipped the line. You know what I mean? So when like. Matt cut his hand open and it wasn't like a life threatening injury. And they were like, had him in the waiting room. And then they put him, they put him in a room and just like had his hand soaking in like, like a liquid for like two hours. I was like, there's no fucking way this I, is I taking think we so clarify long. A big thank you to like doctors and shit, bro. Imagine like every day you're like just sitting at a, at the, 
like hospital waiting for like the next person to come in like bleeding and you have to like and you have help no, them. Like, imagine like you have and you're, you're no, at a, yeah you have no clue what could walk and through the door. Do you know how many times like a doctor's probably Yo, like, I, that's honestly okay so, sorry. just interrupt me. I want to. Can I? Yeah, yeah yeah. Sorry go ahead. All right. I'll, I'll, cool. I'll read. You're still interrupting him. Oh, I'm like I literally just go ahead. Like, hey, you interrupted me and then he kept going like that was insane. Whatever. Wow. Anyway, um. Do you know how many doctors probably, like, oh, I have five minutes left on their shift, and then someone comes in, like, and then they have to, like, stay, like, three hours? Like, dude, dude they must put it's in like, overtime. I can't imagine, like, the kid, like, like when you're in school and someone's like, oh, I want to be a doctor. Like, I remember in high school and kids were telling me that, and I'm like. It's, like, the last thing like, I'd ever want to do. Of fun. Bro, yeah. I want to go. Like, God bless you, because, like, someone's got to do it, and I'm so thankful for you. But my prayers are I with go you. See, I could never I wanna do that. I want to go see the doctor, and there are the doctors that, like, fixed me up. Do you even remember them? I just remember it was a woman. I never saw who they oh, were. Oh, well, good luck. No, I know. It's a really broad. You're yeah. sorting like 50% of the earth. Any woman who's helped the kid no, with well, a head injury. In the emergency room. I don't know. Okay. Um, good. She probably about retired. It. When Matt, was it who? You ran into the water fountain? Yeah, that's why I have no end to my right like, eyebrow. Dude, what a mess of a kid this was. Yeah, like you just didn't Kids stop. Fully sprinted. He was. We were small children and we were young. And Matt was eye level with a water fountain and ran straight into it. Bash his head. Now he has half a quarter of an eyebrow missing. One time cool. I had a black eye because we were supposed to go to like the aquarium or something. And then me and Matt were arguing, so I was ch- chasing him around the house because he hit me. And then he ran into a closet and slammed the door shut. And then so I was like, st- I had too much momentum chasing after him. And I was like doorknob level. I was like doorknob level. And it like hit me right in the eye. And I had a black eye from Do running you know, into a doorknob. I had two black eyes in both eyes. You remember that? <laughs> How? I was, walking up the- I was walking up the stairs with a golf club. And I was like tapping the club on like each step. And then I like jammed the club and like was like, I was like, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. But I, I like wedged the golf club between the steps and my eye and like hit my eye with like the end of a golf club and then the next one i built a sled on the stairs and i put like blankets and pillows and i went to slide down you remember this you i remember on, like, this you were on the sled with me uh-huh. the staircase sled <laughs> yes or, then maybe it was matt i remember but i was it. sitting down on this blanket and pillow structure i built and i slid down the stairs and the other eye went into like the hand railing on the way down I like smack my eye on the hand railing. So I like went, days apart. Like, yeah, literally like two days off each yeah. other. So I remember I went into like third grade and I had a black eye in each eye. It was the most embarrassing shit ever. I looked like a raccoon. Like literally, yeah, that is really embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. Next, Nick fell at the school. Dude. Oh, I know. This is so about. frustrating. Our the school that we went to had like a little like spinny thing in the front. No. Yeah. It wasn't wrong. the school we went to. Okay, it was a school we were attending at the time. Our no, other we school. went. The school we went to was really small, and there was like a winter blizzard or whatever. So like the roof caved in into like both the sixth grade classrooms. So they were like, okay, we have to move our sixth graders, like our whole school. So the one through first, no, the kindergarten through fifth grade went to a separate school, and then the sixth graders only for some reason went to a different school in our city for like legit like three months. We still had the same teachers and everything. We were just like using empty classrooms that they had. So it was like a school of, within a school. Like, I don't think you were genuinely with kids from the other school until you were in, yeah, like... No, I don't no know. unless you were at lunch or... Uh, lunch yeah. and recess was so the only time. Nick went on... But, yeah, this, like, they had, like, a spinning structure. wheel outside, and, like, they would always get, like, the super light kids on it before school and just, like, spin it around. And me were, like, really short and small, so they were just, like, spinning kids around on it. So I remember I was, like, hanging on for dear life, and they spun me, like, 800 miles per hour. And I flung off, and I think I went, like, at least six feet to the side. More. Way more. Like, nine. Like, yeah. Bro. Like, I flung off this thing. And then I just landed awkwardly on my ankle. So I, like, sprained my ankle, and I was on crutches. And then... The next day, there was a fire alarm. Yes. And then we had the to... The next day, there was a fucking fire drill. And I, I was getting water during the fire drill, and my class left without me. And I was, like, crutching around trying to find an exit to the building. How fun. I fucking hate fire drills. Like, they were so annoying. But I also, like, loved, like, I was always on, like, the teacher's good side. So, like, I'd go over them and they'd have, like, a note, a sticky note on their desk that would say, like, fire drill today. You know what? what I mean? Like, yeah, they knew the fire, fire drills, drills were, were scheduled. Like, teachers knew fire drills were coming. That's, that's like, like, also weird. Like, today. I feel like the kids should just know, like, hey, you're going to experience, like, a drill Well, that's, today. like, the... Yeah. Uh, that I mean, well, the same way, not really. Like, you don't have to be caught off guard by a drill. You just need to learn from it. Correct. Like, I well, remember, we, like, I remember when a fire drill would go down, and it was like fucking raining or like some crazy Massachusetts weather, and I'd be in like a t-shirt, and I'd go outside and like fucking 
be yeah. freezing my dick off. No, literally. The teachers wouldn't no, I remember me. they they like I don't know. I don't understand not warning people for drills because you still learn. You know what That's I mean? That's what I'm saying. You just take out like. Well, actually, I kind of get it because it's like you you won't be able to prepare for. I, it. I just can't believe it's like it's, I I just can't believe how startling of a a, a thing that is like. Imagine like being in class just reading and then the oh fucking my God, I remember, fire alarms. No, I remember like, in first grade, it was lunchtime. Who was in first grade with me? All of us, right? Yes. Yeah. It was lunchtime and I had a fruit roll up and the fire alarm went <laughs> off and I went, <laughs> and I threw my arms up and I let go of the fruit roll up. And then I, I had forgot about it because I was like scared and it never came back down. So then we went outside for like 20 minutes. <laughs> the fire department came. I came back to the classroom and I was working on my project. Like lunch was over. Yeah. Because fucking, of course, you do the fire drill during my fucking lunch. So yeah. you come back and everyone was getting straight to work. And then I'm pretty sure we had like a reading test or something that day or like a spelling test. And like 20 minutes later, a fucking fruit roll up just fell onto my desk. Like, Dude, man, I was like, first oh. grade, I was so happy I ate it. Class, class, I was like, lunch was over. Bro. That first yeah, grade food. class was insane. Like you remember, like, the she, had, she had yeah, we got frogs and tadpoles no, as she, gifts. She had tadpoles what? and <laughs> yes, she had tadpoles and frogs as and gifts. Then she, Nick, hold on. She had tadpoles and frogs, and then when she, I think she retired as a teacher that year. Yeah, huh? Yes, no, <laughs> yes. She no, I think she no, just had too she, many. No, she retired as a teacher that year, so she just gave all the frogs and tadpoles as pets to all the kids no, no, to no, bring no, no, home. No. If Let's they not wanted make it, sound crazy. If, yeah, yeah. If they I'm wanted, pretty sure if their everyone had to get okay like, it. had to sign a permission, get yes, a permission slip. Yes, yes, and yes. we got our permission slip signed. Like, if this kid wins a frog in class tomorrow, they can bring it home. Do you yes. want to know what I always? And then we had a frog raffle. Yeah, legit a raffle. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> legit, like a bingo. Like it felt like they were raffling. Wait, off frogs it was literally in first like grade. bingo dude and there was like dude, we had a lot of fun 20 students i remember we, we got a fish get... no yeah we got a fish did we it died yeah. in like a week yeah okay nick Rest going back peace. to like school lunches yeah. and shit one thing that i always found funny is the fact that i feel like frog raffles insane sorry go ahead i just ignored him just keep I hope going everyone wants to know how insane the frog raffle was because that just interrupted my sentence go ahead. Yeah. if you aren't already completely baffled by the frog <laughs> raffle i'm hoping you were re-baffled by yeah. the frog raffle anyway school lunch i feel like that's something that along the ages that you grow and the grades you go up should increase like i feel like you should be bringing more of a hearty lunch to school every year that went on i would bring less and less for school lunch not until only I, like, that wasn't eating in school no not only that but i used to just like literally the f- like the actual quality of school lunches that the school provided just, was less and less yes i, like, remember, I remember field day it was like Dude, oh my I remember, god! <laughs> I, just, I don't know what that was. I remember in first grade, I literally would go to school with like Ritz and peanut butter, celery sticks Dude, and carrots. It was planned fruit out. Roll up a Capri Sun. Well, and, like, like bringing and, like, like a, a lunch box, tree. and then I can you can negotiate in with high friends. school. Bringing like a lunch box is like embarrassing. No, so yeah, to speak. but it shouldn't. It like, shouldn't dude, be. Like, we should normalize I bringing would go lunch to, I would to school. I go to school hungry every single day, and then get the worst lunch like provided with the school. Dude, but in I, kindergarten. Like, I never liked school lunch. Like, I didn't like the pizza or, like, the gross shit no, that they had. No, in kindergarten, so though, it just felt like, like I would gourmet. Have, no, like, in kindergarten, I, it was, like, real. smoked bacon with <laughs> garnished with. Like, yeah, I felt no, like I was I eating literally... good in kindergarten. <laughs> no, me like, too. genuinely, it felt like I was eating, like, Gordon Ramsay level shit in yeah, kindergarten. Yeah, and then we got to high school, and I literally would have goldfish or rice krispie treat and, like, a fucking seltzer water. I'd for be lucky if I day. ate in high school. Bro, honestly, the store at the high school was great, though. Yeah, but, like... I used to literally start my day going to this convenience store, and I'd go to school with peanut M and M's and a Pepsi or like a brisk. Yeah, I used to go to the convenience store and just buy candy to eat. And then I would just go to like Dunkin' Donuts for lunch, like leave the school. No, I remember when I think my favorite part of high school was once I finally realized that like it didn't matter as much as I thought it did, and I just started leaving classes. Yeah, like as bad as that is to like say. Yeah, I wouldn't like genuinely. I think my favorite part of high school is realizing that I could just walk away. From it, mm-hmm. I feel like yes, dude, there we are need to do a whole. Slight. But like that was Bro, after we need to do I a high sure. school pod. Yeah, like a whole high school. But that pod. was after I made sure that like I was past my classes, like by the skin of my teeth. But I wasn't like in danger of not graduating. It was like it's like, do I go to English class today or do I eat a meal? Okay, let's go. That through, meal let's always go through these like injuries. It always, and stuff. always powered. Let's go through some more of these injuries. I kind of like this. Like right, we've been talking story. for Justin. Or We've been just... talking for um 15 minutes, by the way. Okay, Justin body slammed me on Christmas and gave me a concussion or something. I remember, like, I was like, <laughs> I got I got smashed on the ground head first, and my first reaction was, 
shut up the light. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Chris, Chris got it a was concussion. like a Christmas tree was on, and I like you know when you have a concussion, like lights hurt and stuff. Chris looked like Will in like the um when they started killing the mind flare. No, yeah. no, and I was like, like Will oh. from Stranger Things, and they started like burning up like the yeah. What are they called? The tunnels. Hive mind. No, the tunnels and the whatever, high mind. whatever. Like the demi dogs, like when they started ki- when they started burning like the vines. Yeah, at, like, the gate I was entrance. Out, Chris is like Will in the field. Yeah, and then like, I fell on in shaking. the green room. That was a recent one. Yeah. I didn't even hurt. Didn't even hurt. like yeah. I didn't really fall. It was more of like also a- we were in Texas in a hotel room. We were making a TikTok that we never posted, but I almost I thought I broke my ankle. Yeah. Cause that Nick, was Nick so went, funny. We did like a minute music video thing in a hotel room, and Nick jumped off the bed. No. Oh, you fell off. Right? No, it was no, it wasn't. Oh yeah, on we video. were filming it like those in the middle. No, we were filming like those minute music video things that we film on our thing. And Chris was like, "Okay, like start above me and like move the camera, and then step down off the bed and go beside no, me." No, because it wasn't on camera. No, yeah. it, your portion think, was on I think dancing you were on, on the, the bed, bed and getting. Off. And then we shut the camera off, and you were getting down. Hundred, a hundred, a hundred percent recording. So no, I think, no, I think. Yes. Listen, no, I was recording Chris from like an upward angle, and then I got the clip, and I was, I was oh, like excited yes, that's to show was. Chris. That's the same. When I got off the bed, this oh. bed was elevated. Like, it was <laughs> off the ground. Like, and I remember, like, I remember when I was, like, holding the camera down. I was, like, because of the way I, I was just, holding like, the Oh! Because <laughs> I was holding the camera down, I remember genuinely seeing, like, n- like, I thought that I was way closer to yeah. Chris in the ground than I was because I was holding the camera, like, lower. Oh, so when I God. got off the bed... I thought it was, like, a two-foot drop, but it was, like, four. And I landed <laughs> on my foot, and... I remember the, the back the of my heel. That I the heard, back of bro. my heel stepped on the front of my toes. <laughs> oh. Like it was like this with my foot, and it was like I heard a. I heard a. I snap. heard a snap. Me and you heard it because I. It I was, heard a snap. I feel like a minor bone had to break. Something, dude. My toes crooked to this day. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I could show you my toe. Like I was looking at them yesterday because I had my feet out, and my feet are like this, and like this one, on this side. Is like that a little bit, like compared to the <laughs> like others. Look. Yeah, and also my ankle, <laughs> it's, it's my ankle you. on my left foot has literally <laughs> hurt since that day. You need to go to the doctor, dude. No, I do. Like, I genuinely think, I genuinely <laughs> think there's like some internal bruising or something wrong that's like I need yeah. to go get taken. You gotta care get of. checked out. I dude. just want to go to a chiropractor and have them just yank on it and like pop it off. But what if that makes it, it worse? If it's I like don't know, actually, but like, I, torn. I definitely need to go get it looked at. Like, I genuinely don't think I'll be able like, to walk on it in the future. Another fact. Guess how many children break their bone at some point? Not many. Childhood? Actually, not many. Like, None of us, of us three never kids. have. Fair. One out of how many kids? I'd say like one out of like eight. Eighty. One 80. out of eighty. Yeah. What are you saying that? I said like one out of eight, but no. No, like, you're oh. wrong for sure. I don't think so. I think just because us three no, have. No, it's way higher odds. I'm honestly eighty is like a low. Like I'm thinking like one out of one twenty. Okay, I think your perspective is really wrong because us three never have. Think of the amount of people that you know that have broken bones. I can name like twelve, children, and I know a lot children. of people. Keep in mind, children. Yeah, a dude, like one in one twenty. Nick, like you said, children are just, just always. Chris, what the hell's the answer? Shut okay, the fuck go ahead. Up. One in three healthy children break a bone at some point in childhood. <laughs> Goof, I told you. I said one out of eight, and you had me questioning if I, I was... am shocked. I'm not. One of three. That means one of us You know how many clumsy three. kids are just doing stupid shit and break bone? A full bone break, though, is, like, wild. Like, yeah. to snap a bone in your body in multiple pieces. Yeah. Well, like, you have to think about it. It's, like, not... Not multiple. Well, like, yeah, I mean, double. It goes from at least one to two. <laughs> True. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> ah! I think you have to think, like... The, uh, like I don't know. Yeah, there's not really much to think about that. That's just Let's insane. Let's go through the rest of our injuries so that we can wrap up this pod. Yes. Okay. I have a few experiences here that I've endured with wheels. I feel like I don't get along well with them. But when I was on, I was carrying a chair and I had heelys on, and I was sliding uh, through the street with heelys on, holding a chair like a full chair above my head, and the heelys were knocking me back, and I didn't want to fall back because I was like, oh, I can't help myself I go back so then I put all my momentum forward and I still had wheels on my feet so it's kind of oh, like yeah, it I can't was really so find funny. Her so I slid scrape my knee and this through is the... like dude this is like six months ago and I still have like the full mark like I think I don't know what it is it's not even like a scar but you threw, the, I chair. threw the chair neighbors turning on like their lights dogs barking so it was so funny. I remember, I remember like being so embarrassed, and then Matt was just laughing. Like, well, I, I asked if you were okay first. I helped you out, grabbed the chair, and then I started dying laughing. No, my favorite story laughed. of things on wheels is the wagon. 
Yeah, I have that one, which is there was two wagons we stacked up on top of each other. Oh, my And I God. wanted to hit a dunk in our backyard because so we had a funny. basketball hoop. So I ran up as fast as I could, went to jump on the wagons, and obviously they were on wheels. I don't know why we put the wheel side down. No, I don't think we did. Whatever. That was the it, thing. The, the, the wagon. Like, the first one was balanced on the second, and that alone just swept it yeah. out. Yeah, and then it, the wagon slid away, and I fell straight on my back, got the wind knocked out of me, and I could not Chris, like, 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 when, like, in, like, the action movies, when they burst through, like, the glass <laughs> wall. But he was hitting, like, the ground, and his arms were going <laughs> yeah. back because his body stopped. So it was like he hit and went. Yeah, it was really painful. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's like, so I genuinely, funny. And he just immediately got up and was like, <laughs> <laughs> like there was no air in his body. He just got up and was like, <laughs> <laughs> like it looked like he had been like swimming for like six days, and he I finally got. How his... funny you think that it was? It was so no, funny. When once I found you were okay, exactly. You, were like, you got up. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> like you were just gathering. Once all your you're breath, okay, it that's so when funny. it's like it's good to laugh. And that okay, was... and then um. <laughs> I'm just laughing because we were like outside having fun, and then that happened. You gasped, and then like you didn't say anything to me and Matt. You just went inside. I just and ran you started inside. crying. <laughs> and like uh, your little body like scurried inside. I was like, oh no. Uh, and then another time with wheels, I was on a scooter that the the the, the handlebars wasn't didn't right. align like, with the wheel. I, you would have to hold the. <gasps> I have a, if what? if like this is the wheel, no, you would have to hold the handlebars at like. 75 degrees instead of instead of like 180 degrees it would have to be at like 75 degrees to go, go straight. straight to go straight so like the wheel is like, like when this, you hold but the handlebars the, the like handlebars naturally like a normal person on like a motorcycle or a scooter the wheel was like the wheel was already away. facing to the so right so you had to like line up the handlebars i don't know why i was using a faulty scooter anyway but i was trying to go from like a beach house to the beach and i was hauling ass on the scooter and it gave out on me and i fucking scrape my hand no i think you just forgot and then you went to like take a turn but you turned it too yeah, much yeah i don't know it was just really hard to use the scooter was fucked up and i slid on the concrete ripped my sweatpants open scraped my knees scraped my legs and then hurt my thumb really bad oh yeah that was that also was another really funny great one. story Nathan but was there too mm -hmm. i remember he made fun of me a lot shout out to Nathan. that was hilarious and then nick one day we had a um a little hockey banquet so we went to a hotel and they gave nick a peppermint no no, it was like the hockey banquet was in a hotel, and like the hotel lobby had one peppermint left. Mm. So I was gassed as fuck because I was the only one who had it. So I was like, "Fuck everybody, I have the last peppermint." Uh -huh. So I I put it in my mouth as I was like also skipping out of the building because mm -hmm. I was like just a little excited child. Mm -hmm. And when I like took my initial skip and landed, like the mint just went straight into my throat. <laughs> I couldn't breathe for like four minutes, and then I threw up everywhere yeah then you got the mint dislodged from your esophagus yeah no one was giving me the heimlich everyone just waited because no one knew how to no, do dad it dad was gonna like i remember no, he my was, dad like, was gonna but he just genuinely like was i think everyone was more afraid dad was so panicked yeah i remember after i actually threw up and like i could breathe and i was fine he did not like put me down onto the ground for like 40 minutes no, like he was dad, just holding me for like an hour horrified. and i was crying because i thought that i was literally gonna die like yeah. i could not breathe i remember just being a bystander like what the fuck what if he yeah. dies right in front of me right now let me have some just other funny stories. I got pushed playing tag when I was younger and popped out my shoulder and had to go to the nurse's office and get it reset. Mm -hmm. Um, what else is there? Nick, when he was bowling and he had to get a splint because Matt. Oh like, my hit god! Him. This is like the prime example of Matt's stupidity. Shut up, Nick. Matt, I was holding a, a bowling ball. And I was getting ready to bullet, but we were at, like, this kid's birthday party at a bowling alley. And, like, not to bash on some random kid's birthday party, but there was no, like, organization of, like, <laughs> like there was no organization. No, no, there was no organization, like, the kids oh, throw oh the balls like, down. you four kids are playing on this lane. Like, they rented three lanes, but then invited, like, 20 people to the birthday party. But instead of, like, splitting us up into groups to bowl, like, one at a time, like... They were just like kind of like free for all throw bowling balls at the pins. So like no one took turns. So I went to bowl and then Matt basically also went to bowl and threw it somehow hit my hand with a bowling ball. So my finger got crushed between the bowling ball I was holding and the bowling ball Matt threw at me. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a classic. Um, we were decorating like this thing, this big ovular structure with ribbon and Nick passed the ribbon over like a, it was like a 40 foot toss. And Nick, I think it was you, right? Yeah, I don't know. It was like a streamer or like a ribbon, and Nick threw it, and it hit my lip and cut my lip open. My lip, like, wouldn't stop bleeding. It was, like, dead center. I have a scar there, too. Like, if I smile really wide, you'll see, like, the white line. I'm not doing it because it's awkward. No, I have the same scar. Yeah. Because I had a staph infection from oh, yeah, yeah. EpiPen. And then, um, let's end it off with a classic, my wrist. Okay. Dude,
we were, Matt and Chris were arguing and I was recording them and then it was like Matt's turn to shoot the ball in basketball and Chris didn't want to give it to him. So Matt was like, give me the ball. And Chris was like, Chris hocked it out of like 100 we're, miles we're like per 10, hour. I think. And Matt, instead of like I wanting to catch the ball, he was like, Iron it. Man it. Like, <laughs> stop it <laughs> like, like 11. So when Matt like <laughs> 11 to like stop the ball from hitting his body, the ball hit like his palm and, and like, pushed his wrist full, back. No, my it went like this and my full hand went like he that. Was, my He's like, my wrist wrist and I have it on video. I just don't know where it is. Oh, it was so funny. I think it's like somewhere like deep, deep, but deep. Anytime like an anybody mentioned like or hand or wrist pain to you this to day, yell, my wrist. I still get made fun of for that. So. It was so funny. We were like eight. Well, yeah, that was some of our childhood stories and our funny injury moments. I, I, this is probably my favorite podcast. I know. I had a, a let blast. us know if you want to hear more, just like stories let us know just that what we you have want us to talk about. Less injury side because this is the more injury side of things. But I still enjoy. We're absolutely episode. down to talk about anything here on the Cut the Camera podcast. Just let us know what you want us to talk about. We will see you guys when we see you guys. Have an absolute wonderful time, and as always, just be more careful. You know, yes, yeah, be more that's safe. That's safe that's be, kind to what's everybody. the what's the look out for your siblings? What's if you're the gonna, word like, fight. or sentence of what our life is like off camera based off what we talked about today? I'll say chaotic. I'll throw a classic mm. chaotic out there. Mm. Scary. Oh, <laughs> I'd say just you know life altering. Ca- <laughs> oh my god! I'd just I say know. proceed with caution. You know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, watch your kids. Thank you, guys. I'm yeah. Chris. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matt. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Nick, and thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye, campers. No, it's I was not. waiting for you to say it. I'll but say bye. It's just, just only good, good morning, morning, campers. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Love you all. <laughs> That's insane, Matt. I know. <laughs>